for sure, but if you took away the buildings, the terminals, the planes at the airport, it's a flat, wide open area and it probably looks more like the Arctic tundra than any place else. Obviously birds and aircraft don't mix. We put out uh, a bow net with a, a mouse or a rat in a little wire cage. When the owl comes in, we manually trigger the trap. You can see how large their wingspan actually is. has a serial number on it, so it's like your social security number. You can see those feet, very, very long, sharp talons for sure. We don't use a glove because you can't tell how much pressure you're putting on these birds, and birds have hollow bones, and we don't want to take a chance and injure the bird. Some of the birds we actually put on satellite transmitters. We're going to get some measurements off this bird. site that lives on them and they all have them but to different degrees. In normal numbers they don't impede the bird. When the bird gets excited, gets hot and the lice come to the outside edges, the good news is we're too cold so these lice can't live on us. I've been trained by the veterinarians to take blood from the owls to see if they're carrying any infections. climate change and changes that happen in the Arctic and this is certainly one of the birds that probably will be affected by changes that happen up there. So this bird is all set to be released. Wildlife Services trap and relocate owls before they attempt to shoot them. It's a nice salt marsh habitat, lots of waterfowl, plenty of food for her to eat. Hopefully it'll safely get back to the Arctic tundra. As you can see, she's ready to go. On the count of three. One, two, three.